This is kind of wonderful. There's a hawk that's following me around out here. He's keeping his distance, but I'm, he's circling, so hopefully he'll come and, and visit a lot closer. This is Pike Island. This is the only entrance to Pike Island. When you come down here from the Ar Army Fort, it's not very far. And you can only get to the island by this bridge. It sometimes floods in the spring, so you can't get out there, but not this year. I believe there's almost three miles of shoreline and a very extensive interior. Made, made a very wonderful spiritual connection to the wild turkeys and the deer out here. But lately I haven't been coming out as much I'm having some um, trials I'm going through, which I'm getting, things are getting better. I don't think they would probably remember me. I sometimes find a glass to come out for a couple months they seem to run away from me as soon as they see me, so I have to start that reprocess of connecting again. So this is Pike Island. This is the uh, interior forest of Pike Island. This is the southern section of the island. I will be cutting through the forest and heading north. So far, no sign of my dear friends, but they could be laying down right now. Still heading to the interior or the center of the island. I always like to stop like this and just take notice of all the beauty around me, the, the nature that's endless, that everything, including the earth on my feet to that tree, the deer that are out here, and so forth and so on. And like all of us on this world, all human beings, everything in nature and us, we're all connected to this. We're connected and there's no denying it. There's no denying it. People lost their connection to the source. That's what I like to say, which is God's creation, the Great Spirit's creation. This is the source and it's still here from that time when he created the heavens and the earth. And we are created after that from this creation, so that makes us connected to nature, makes it connected to all of us as human beings in this world. But by the looks in the news and the history of this planet and the dimly idea about the future, what that holds for mankind is, is very bleak. So we're all not following the source here, or recognizing this. Otherwise, we all be getting along with each other.
But I could take solace that I know I'm in the end of prophetic end of time, so this moment where the apocalyptic things that are going to be occurring, the, the uh, rejuvenation of this world, it's very important that you are spiritual before that happens. If you're not spiritual, uh, you most likely won't survive the transition that's going to be taking place here. Well, I'm going to see if I get further in. I haven't seen my deer yet. I usually stop and take a look around. Sometimes they're sitting down, and uh, so far I haven't found them, so I'll keep looking.